I hate homelessness. Let me give you an overview of all the ways I hate homelessness. Homelessness is really expensive. In fact, it is more expensive to keep a person homeless than it is to house and support them. Study after study proves cost savings in the thousands of dollars per person per year if people are housed and supported. Chronically homeless people can consume millions of dollars of resources in their lifetime and remain homeless. That's a really crappy use of public resources. Homelessness kills people faster. Fact, if you are homeless, you die on average 17 years faster than a non-homeless person, including non-homeless people living in economic poverty. If you're chronically homeless, you also experience advanced chronological aging, which is a fancy way of saying you're more likely to have health conditions of a person that is older while at a younger age. Oh. And people who are homeless experience suicide rates almost 10 times higher than housed people. Homelessness uses up a lot of health resources. In fact, the average length of a hospital stay for a person experiencing homelessness is almost 16 days, which is twice as long as the national average. In fact, around 12% of patients who are homeless have hospital stays of more than one month. And the average cost per stay of a person who is homeless is almost $17,000 compared to the national average of less than $8,000. Homelessness is grossly misunderstood, especially when it comes to addiction, mental illness, and economic poverty. Here's three facts. One, if you live with an addiction, you're more likely to be housed than homeless. In the United States, over 46 million people aged 12 and older, or 16.5% of the population, met the criteria of having a substance use disorder in the past year. Almost none of them experienced homelessness. Another study showed that before the pandemic, one in 14 people dying of overdoses was homelessness, and after the pandemic, it was one in nine. Now, all overdoses are horrible, but if you dig into that statistic, you realize most people are dying in their homes, not in encampments down the street from you. Two, if you live with a mental illness, you are more likely to be housed than homeless. In the United States, almost 60 million people live with a mental illness each year. Almost none of them experience homelessness. And three, if you live in economic poverty, you're more likely to be housed than homeless. In the United States, almost 40 million people live in economic poverty. Almost none of them experience homelessness. Homelessness gets moralized and pathologized, even though it's a housing issue. Fact, every $100 increase in median rent increases homelessness 9%. And another fact, in jurisdictions with some of the highest rates of drug use and overdoses per capita, there is amongst the lowest rates of homelessness per capita. Homelessness disproportionately impacts minority communities. Fact, minority communities like Black and Indigenous peoples are overrepresented in homelessness because of historical and current injustices, systemic racism, and a plethora of other barriers constructed to thwart rapid housing access. Homelessness is traumatizing. Fact, over 90% of people experiencing homelessness had at least one adverse childhood experience in addition to the trauma of becoming homeless. And another study shows 53% of adults experiencing homelessness live with PTSD. Homelessness is political. Fact, increasingly politicians are spending time talking about and debating the issue. Rarely are any of them experts on homelessness. They are setting policy based upon flawed opinions rather than facts and evidence in many instances. Another task force is not going to end homelessness. Finger pointing between governments will not end homelessness. Misinformed policy will not end homelessness. Funding pet project organizations over established high performing organizations that use evidence based and evidence informed practices has to stop. We need to demand that politicians invest in change and spend on impact, not invest in nonprofits that they like but are not getting the results we need. Homelessness is criminalized meaning it uses up more police and criminal justice resources. Fact, a record for having no place to live does not improve your chances of a landlord picking your rental application. And some more facts. Most police forces are not using social workers. Oh, and those sweeps of homeless camps? They actually make it harder to get people out of homelessness. Plus, they're really expensive to terminate. And locking people up who are homeless? Incarceration is exponentially more expensive than housing and supporting people. So go ahead. You should hate homelessness. Hate the condition. Don't hate the person. 
It is an expensive, traumatizing, political, moral, pathologized, criminalized, inequitable, healthcare consuming killer that is misunderstood. We know how to end it. We choose not to. Some people will tell you homelessness is about failed people. I can prove to you it's about failed policy. Can we prevent all people from being dislodged from a permanent place to live? No, never have been. Life happens, people lose their housing. So to you, ending homelessness may seem impossible, but we can end chronic homelessness. Different countries have different definitions of what chronic homelessness means, but more or less it refers to being homeless for a long period of time or the frequency of being homeless within a specific period of time. In some countries, a documented disabling condition is also required. During my career, I've seen a shift from managing homelessness to efforts on ending homelessness. There have been 10 year plans. There have been task forces. There have been literature reviews on approaches that work. There have been multi-year demonstration projects and research projects. And there have been service interventions to end homelessness. The issue isn't that we don't know how to end chronic homelessness. We do. We just choose not to. We'd rather set up more meetings or committees, even though homelessness has never been ended in a committee. Let me say this loud and clear. Homelessness is a housing problem. The single greatest predictor of homelessness rates is the inability of people to find places to live that they can afford. When scholars control for variables like mental health, substance use, and even climate, it is a fact that homelessness is a housing problem. It may not only be a housing problem, but it is always a housing problem. I used to be convinced we could end chronic homelessness. It was pretty straightforward. Either community had housed and was appropriately supporting all formerly homeless people to remain housed, or they were not. It was binary. In my direct service years, this was the emphasis, and I think we need to sustain that. Every shelter needs to focus on getting people housed again as rapidly as possible, not trying to rehabilitate people or just meet basic needs. Every street outreach provider needs to focus on getting people housed again as rapidly as possible, not just keeping people alive. If the entire system of care is not focused on getting people out of homelessness, it will manufacture the conditions to keep people homeless longer. We need an investment in housing solutions unlike anything we've seen before. We need a range of housing options. There's no single perfect housing option for all people. Just adding more shelter beds or more street outreach without adding more permanent housing options with the right supports is misguided and a terrible use of resources. And I hate to break it to you, but fields of tiny homes alone will not end homelessness by itself. We need to focus on accountability in the process. Organizations need to use evidence-based and evidence-informed practices. We need leaders that can hold service providers accountable to those practices. We need to pay for performance, not charity. We need to move from a mentality where nonprofits apply for grants into a mindset where governments purchase services to get specific outcomes directly related to ending homelessness. In the history of humankind, charity has never solved a complex social issue. It can't. It's not designed to. We need to focus on outcomes, not outputs. We need to focus on the difference organizations are making at reducing homelessness, not just how many heads on beds or meals served. We need to measure effectiveness, not busyness. We need to stop using sample sizes of one as indicators of how the system is functioning as a whole. And we need targets and timelines and appreciate that some is not a number and soon is not a time. We need politicians to grow a spine and insist on implementing programs with fidelity to practice for public dollars invested. We need to take on NIMBY. We need to change zoning laws and land use planning laws to get housing built faster. And we need better engagement with constituents so that they understand if you don't want housing with supports in your backyard, you'll be faced with more encampments in your front yard. We need action plans, not a list of platitudes or aspirations or documents that lament if only somebody else did something, everything would be okay. And we need less talk and more rock. The time is now. Or you can ignore the truth and more people will die. And if you don't care about people dying, remember it will suck up a ton of your tax dollars if you're more interested in managing homelessness than ending it. 
I hate homelessness. I do not hate people that are experiencing homelessness. Ending homelessness is possible. But do we want to? That's the question.